Now we're going to be doing some exponent notion with negative bases. So we're going to be looking at some indices that have a base of a negative number. So as you can see over here guys, we have negative 2 and it's power of 1. The power 1 we call it the index and the base is going to be the negative 2 which is on the bottom of the index. Okay, so negative 2 is the base. Now negative to the power of 1 is just negative 1, isn't it? Sorry, negative 2. So the answer is just negative 2 for this one. Now what if I have negative 2 to the power of 2? Negative 2 to the power of 2 is the same as negative 2 times negative 2, isn't it? Now negative times a negative is a positive, so it's going to be positive 4. Can you see that? Now let's try another one. Negative 2 to the power of 3, so negative 2 cubed. This is the same as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Now, negative negative is a positive. And that means positive negative is a negative. So 3 negatives will eventually become a negative. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the answer is negative 8. Can you see that guys? So just do one thing at a time. What about negative 2 to the power of 4? That's the same as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 multiplied 4 times. Think of this. I'll separate it into 2. Negative 2 times negative 2. We have that over here, isn't it? We know that it's positive 4 because we know that negative negative makes a positive. And same with here. It's the exact same thing so it's positive 4. So 4 times 4 must be positive 16. Can you kind of see the pattern, guys? If you want to explore the pattern, we can see that the powers that are odd, we can see a negative base raised to an odd power is clearly negative. So see how these two ones, the power is 1 here and the power is 3 here. 1 and 3 are odd numbers. If the base is negative, like we had in this one, the base was negative 2. If it's negative 2, the whole thing to the power of an odd number, the outcome also becomes negative. That's the key point here. Now let's look at the even powers. The even powers are going to be the ones underneath it, which are these two, two and four, which have the powers. Negative two is the same base, the negative base, but with this time we have an even power. So a negative base raised to an even power is positive. So see how the powers here are two and four? Two and four are even numbers, so power of an even number must always become positive as well. Make sense guys? That's the key point here. Now one thing I want you guys to be very, very careful with is negative two to the power of two. We know that's positive four, right? But that's because we have brackets around the entire number negative two. What if you have negative two squared like that? If we don't have brackets, this square is only for the two. Only for here, the square is for both the negative and the two. For this one, the two is only, the square two, the power two is only for the two. So it's like an invisible bracket around here. So we keep the negative and it's just two squared, which is four. So the bracket, the place of the bracket is also very, very important. So I want you to pay a good amount of consideration into where the brackets are. That's very, very important as well. 